So this is real primary school in the heart of Camden Town and it's the school where I work every Wednesday afternoon basically coordinating their outdoor learning for the school. Mm -hmm. So we run, along with a colleague called Anna, we run this garden space which we've built from the old car park in the school. It used to be a reception playground and the teachers park around one edge but we've built uh, an organic vegetable garden around one side. Mm -hmm. On a so, Friday, so. so how many kids are involved in that project? Well here what we try and do is avoid the trap of just working with a small group in a garden club so that only a minority of children really get the benefit of the experiences. And here we actually go through the entire school over the course of a month basically on a, on a big rotor system. So every afternoon we work with 16 children at a time in half hour slots between 1.30 and 3.30 mm -hmm. and then from 3.30 to 4.30 I work with a small group of children in an actual gardening club where I'm training up a group of very keen gardeners to act as teachers within the school so that they can then take off groups and train them up themselves as a way of basically disseminating skills through the school. And what kind of activities do they do? Well, we work, we work through the seasons and we tend to have a, a theme for a month. So it might be around, uh, our theme might be around sowing seeds and germination, or it might be around caring for plants and, well, yeah, or it might be around caring for plants. Mm -hmm. So for that month, we'll keep that theme going while weaving in the general tasks that need to be done in the garden at that time. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, we're hoping that in a systematic way, all the children in the school will have key skills so that we don't need to keep repeating them. We then basically build on that year on year so mm. that children are... so that we empower children to have the key skills so that we can then take them to new places in their learning. So, I mean, being London, it's a very diverse school, People are kids from lots of different backgrounds. Um, what, what kinds of plants are you growing? Are they, would they be familiar? to are they kind of traditional English plants or, or well we try we try and reflect the the children in the school and their families and where they're coming from. So last year we grew in our polytunnel uh, snakeskin gourds which is a common ingredient in Bangladeshi curries. We're growing a lot of coriander, a lot of chilies and one of our aims this year is to sell back bags of coriander and chilies to the parents as a way of weaving in an enterprise angle to what we're doing so children can work around the maths involved in the revenue stream which will also help to support the project. It's in a small way but I think it's, it's one strand of what we're keen to get going. So that's a big commitment on the part of the school isn't it? Yeah, the school's been fantastic and we've been here for nearly two years and have the freedom and the support to build a garden but more importantly to build a project within the school itself and that takes time and gardens take time and you could, nothing can be done instantly and that's the message I always try and get across when I'm working in schools is to plan it out for the future to understand the small steps that you need to take to achieve something much bigger in the end. One of the more challenging but most important bits of what we do here is actually team teach with the teachers and I'm a teacher by trade so I go in and work with teachers to help them plan topics, plan ideas. Anna, my colleague, will go and also help teachers so that we're holding their hands to use the outdoor space and to learn outside because children respond incredibly well to being out outdoors. Mm -hmm. And it's a real life context for learning and children get a lot from that. So to leave the classroom and to use all the outdoor spaces around this school is very very important but also does take some work because teachers are used to the props often in their classrooms and we're there to help discover all the learning resources that nature can offer outside. That's great, thank you.